Good evening, this is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center. It's 9.24 in the evening on Saturday, May 1st, 2021. 9.24 in the evening, Saturday, May 1st, 2021. And we've got a bunch of things to go over. Let's uh, start by checking out the current warning for uh, California and San Francisco. First of all, before we go to the warning here, let's uh, take a look at what's going on. Um, just a few minutes ago, this uh, 4.3 earthquake hit off the northwest coast, and this 3.0 hit uh, a few hours ago. Uh, but this 4.3 is an indication of the energy beginning to release in northwest California and then the San Francisco Bay during the next 24 to 36 hours. Here's the warning for California. A strong earthquake is likely, a major earthquake is possible in the San Francisco Bay uh, from right now through uh, May 2nd, most likely to happen during the next uh, 12 hours, 12 to 24 hours, most likely overnight. So if you are in this area in uh, San Francisco Bay, uh, please uh, warn your friends and family to be prepared tonight and during the next uh, 24 to 36 hours for a strong earthquake and possibly a major earthquake in the San Francisco Bay. Uh, this risk area is uh, very uh, extremely high risk in this area. And uh, the risk level is similar to that of the Napa earthquake, which was a 6.0 earthquake. So be prepared tonight in the San Francisco Bay and during the next uh, 24 to 36 hours, we're beginning to get a release. This 4.3 is the indicator of this energy beginning to release uh, on the San Andreas Fault here. So we'll see that during the next 24 to 36 hours. Let's check some of the other forecasts and then we'll get back to uh, the California forecast. May 2nd and 3rd are all these forecasts. Uh, so it starts uh, tomorrow, a lot of these forecasts here. So this one for Alaska, uh, a moderate risk down here in Southwest Alaska and a pretty significant risk down here in uh, Juneau in uh, Southeast Alaska uh, during the next 24 hours. Hawaii, the risk is uh, very high across the Northern Islands there. They could get a uh, 3.5 to 4.5 as possible in Northern uh, Hawaii during the next uh, 48 hours. And uh, Seattle, Washington, the risk is down in uh, Southeast Idaho during the next uh, 36 hours. Athens, Greece, there's a area during the next uh, 36 hours in Southern Albania and across the Northern portion of uh, Greece, that's uh, high risk across that area during the next uh, 36 hours. Down in uh, Central America, we have a uh, moderate risk in Southern Mexico right now. And that's pretty much it for now as moderate risk in uh, West of Guatemala here, 50 to 55% risk in Southern Mexico. And in Chile, uh, pretty high risk down near, near uh, Santiago. Santiago, Chile is right here and La Serena is right here. So uh, closer to Santiago, Chile, a 5.0 to 5.5 is possible in that area. And the Caribbean, uh, moderate risk out in the Lesser Antilles, uh, Haiti and Cuba, we could get a significant earthquake up there near uh, Cuba during the next 36 hours, maybe a 4.5 is possible up there. And uh, Croatia, the Croatia and the Italy forecast are on the same page. Let's go back to the Italy forecast for that. And the risk is down here in Southern Italy. And if you check the world forecast, you can see in uh, Southern Italy, Northeast of Palermo, West of Catanzaro, right about in this area, we got a 4.0 earthquake and that is in our uh, very high risk area. So this area, south of Naples, northeast of Palermo, this, uh, this area of Southern uh, Italy is a uh, high risk right now. And a 4.5 to 5.5 is possible in that area during the next 36 hours. 
All right, let's go to the, uh, let's see, we got Costa Rica and now Cyprus and Turkey. Uh, that risk that we're talking about in uh, Greece extends over to Istanbul. So very high risk across Istanbul and Northern Greece right now. And this area here is uh, Eastern uh, Syria. There's a, a high risk in that area. And uh, Quito, Ecuador, the risk is down here in Southern Peru and uh, Northern Chile. And uh, pretty high risk there, that could produce a 5.0 earthquake. And then El Salvador, Guatemala, we went over that and uh, Indonesia, there's a moderately uh, high risk uh, west of uh, Jakarta here in southern Sumatra, also a high risk in the eastern Java, eastern part of Java there, and then west of Jakarta in southern Sumatra. And uh, we went over the Italy forecast in southern Italy there, very high risk. And then in Tokyo and the Japan forecast, the risk is very high in the Aomori, Sapporo, and Hokkaido area of Japan, northern Japan. And a 5.0 to 6.0 earthquake is possible in that area. And then in uh, Lima, Peru, oh, we went over that already with the Ecuador forecast. New Zealand, the uh, high risk across central, just north of uh, Christchurch and southwest of Wellington. In the central portion of New Zealand, high risk there or 4.0 is possible. And the Philippines, down here in uh, southeast Philippines, there's a high risk, a 5.5 is possible there in southeastern Philippines. Taiwan, the risk is mostly up in the Ryukyu Islands where 4.0 to 4.5 is possible there. And then uh, we looked at uh, the Turkey forecast again uh, up there near Istanbul and also in Syria, high risk in those areas. So let's go back to the uh, California forecast once more. Again, we just got a uh, 4.3 earthquake offshore of Northwest California. This is a indication that the energy is beginning to release and we should get a strong earthquake and possibly a major earthquake across the San Francisco Bay area during the next 36 hours. Be on alert. Please warn your friends and family to be on alert. And we will talk to you again tomorrow. And please uh, let your friends know. And uh, we will talk to you again tomorrow. Thank you so much. Stay safe. And uh, God bless. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do that. We have 165,000 followers on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter now from around the world. 165,000. Thank you to every one of you. And please stay safe. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you.